we thought this was mischief at the Port Authority. It now looks like the mischief originated in the governor's office. Assemblyman John Wisniewski will lead the special investigatory committee focused solely on questions surrounding the September closure of local toll lanes that jammed up traffic in Fort Lee. I had no knowledge or involvement in this issue, in its planning or its execution. The governor blames a rogue staff member for the decision to close the lanes. Speculation is she wanted to punish the Fort Lee mayor for not endorsing Christie's re-election. Now investigators want to subpoena records from other Christie administration insiders, among them Kevin O'Dowd, Charles McKenna, and Regina Agia, to find out what they knew about the lane closures and what some say looks like an attempted cover-up. We need to know who else in the governor's office was involved in authorizing it. Also today, another storm brewing for the governor. Because we're stronger than the storm. A federal agency now is looking at how Christie's office spent Sandy recovery money on election year ads featuring the governor and his family. A less expensive bid from a firm that didn't want to feature Christie was rejected. Congressman Frank Pallone requested the review. I don't think there's any question that, you know, this was an effort to promote him. Uh, but the problem is uh, it was at the expense of money that from the taxpayers that could have been used for other, other Sandy purposes. And I represent uh, the, the area that was hardest hit by Sandy. Uh, people are still looking for money now, so I, I think it smells.